Hey friends, welcome to day four of our epic Disney World Resort hopping staycation. I am so excited. So far we knocked off the Polynesian, the Grand Floridian, the Wilderness Lodge, and then tonight we're staying at the boardwalk. I am so excited. This is such a beautiful resort and it has so many great offerings, especially a walk to Epcot. So let's go do this. Easily one of the best Disney World resorts right here. Just because it's so accessible to walk to Epcot, you can even walk to Hollywood Studios and you can just hang out on the boardwalk all night long. This is like an attraction on its own. People literally come here just to mingle on the boardwalk. And tonight, oh, we get to stay here. I'm like very excited, very giggly like excited. The theming here at the boardwalk is very hard to match. You can walk down those steps and go right to the boardwalk, but first we're gonna go and check in and take a look at our room. I made a video probably about two weeks ago where I came here and ate at Trotteria Alferno and watched the sunset on the boardwalk itself. So if you want to see a little bit more of the details, you can check out that video. This video, I'm going to focus more on the things I did not show, especially the room and the views from the room. With it being the Boardwalk Resort, we're going to see a lot of 19th century boardwalk amusements and a lot of like circus decor, which is really awesome. The art and decor inside the Boardwalk is just so beautiful. It's like a tad bit classy, but a tad bit childish, and I like that. I'm going to make an attempt to put in a request for the room of my liking. You can always do that and don't be afraid to ask. Sometimes you'd be surprised with the answer you actually get. And uh, different resorts have different rooms. Like for instance here at the Boardwalk, uh, for you to get a room that faces the Boardwalk, it's kind of like getting a theme park view at Bay Lake. So that's a little bit more expensive. So since we are going with just a studio garden or pool view, I'm gonna try to get the highest level possible all the way up and that is exactly what we got it was actually really easy all i did was say hey i would love to have a room at the highest level at first i asked if i could be facing towards the espn because i know the sunrise comes up over on that side of the boardwalk but there was none available so i did get a nice nifty pool view on the fifth floor and uh i think i'm gonna like it coolest thing about the boardwalk lobby are these pictures here i discussed them in that video that i was talking about the other day and all of those pictures are the different castles from all around the world at disney parks really nifty the sundry store is actually closed so you'll have to go down to the screen door general store on the boardwalk itself i definitely want to get myself a nifty little boardwalk memorabilia piece Every single resort that I have stayed at this past week, I've been making sure that I actually take something home with me so that I can remember my stay. It's something I've never done before and I kind of regret it, but now it's a new tradition and I'm gonna make it last. Anywhere I go to stay, I'm bringing something back. Going right up to the fifth floor, the highest level possible. When in doubt, that's the way I like to go. Some people like the lower levels because it's a quicker walk, but I like the views. Look at this in here. Look at that carpet. It's so nice. I like it when you come out of the elevator to your floor and they have like a little lobby section. Just adds a little bit of taste of class. I thought it would be cool to take a peek see out this window and I was going to lift up one of the blinds, but they're wood and they don't move. I don't know why that is. I'm sure there's a beautiful view on the other side of this. I'll never know. I always appreciate the hallways and the wallpapers that lead to your room too. It's something I always look forward to seeing. And holy moly, our room is like the first room right off the elevator. Fancy that. Mickey to Mickey. Thank you. It has such a fresh, clean scent when you walk in this door. So far, the Wilderness Lodge probably had the best scent. When I walked in that room, I was like, Ooh, I like this, but this one, it just smells clean and I like it. 
and also when you first walk in it seems a lot more spacious because they have these kind of like little spots where usually there's a wall that just goes like this and then also it has an open bathroom makes the room look a lot bigger speaking of bathroom i really like this little sink area here i like this mirror all these little bubblies <laughs> a privacy door also let you handle your business in private. Oh, where's the light? There it is. Sad though, no stand-up shower. I don't even know if they have stand-up showers here, but every resort I've been in so far, I got to enjoy that wonderful rain falling from the sky on me. And this is a different place for storage. Usually it's on the other side of the room. Huh, oh wow, that goes back deep. How you guys doing? <laughs> no, like it really is really deep back here. Uh-oh. Danger. <laughs> I could probably take that out of the video, but what's the point of that? A very nice kitchen area too, with all your necessities, microwave, toaster, little tiny mini fridge, all your coffee supplies, I'm pointing at the dishwashing stuff, but the coffee supplies is over here. This time, I brought my French vanilla creamer, and uh, fridge is always stocked with the Bud Light. A nice little bed. Oh, we gotta check the pillows. One, two, three, four pillows. Polynesian is still the pillow king with six pillows. Huh. I also like the mirror that they got there, and the blue paint is actually really nice. Oh, what's this? It's a little fancy dresser. I like that. I've never seen a dresser like this before. It's kind of cool how it has doors. Very nice. And then we got the TV area with the little dining room set. I'm gonna turn on the TV with our clean and sanitized remote. Thank you. It is July 31st. Soon to be August. Isn't that crazy how time flies like that? 4.52 p.m., 93 degrees out. And look at all of the pretty sceneries you get with the Disney Parks channel. There's definitely a bed back there, but we have to move all this stuff to get a good look at it. it makes it a little bit difficult. This is the only room so far that actually had like the table set up there, but it does create more space in the room. And we'll take a look-see here, what we got for a nice little bed spot. We gotta move these chairs out of the way. <gasps> Is that Dumbo? Oh, it's a sleeping Dumbo. Look at that. I always love these little day beds. They're so cute and they always have a nice animation. It is really cool that the desk or the table is attached to the bed, but like I said, it does kind of make it a little difficult to open and close. Does save room in the room though. I do appreciate these light fixtures and that chair looks pretty comfortable. I'm gonna have to give it a seat test. We got the fancy pull out sofa. That's a nifty coffee table. I actually like that one a lot. And a very fun looking lamp in the corner to go along with the fun looking pictures on the wall. Really theming the boardwalk and that's what I like about this place. Like I said, it's like classy but with like a little childish charm. And like I said before, my favorite part of a resort is always the balcony and the balcony view. That's what I really enjoy about Disney is just the attention to detail on everything. Disney always takes the extra step to make sure things fit properly. And since we did not get the boardwalk view, which is probably the more preferred view and it costs more money, we did get probably just as good of a view because I actually looked on the map and which way it's pointing kind of gets me excited. But also, can I point out that there's hidden Mickeys all over this? That's what I was talking about on detail. That's pretty awesome. Yep, I like it. 
I like it a lot. The main pool viewing area. Wow, it's so beautiful out today. Ooh, you can see the Tower of Terror. Well, just the tippity top. Still gets me very excited because that's my favorite place is the Tip Top Club. That building right there, I'm pretty sure is Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I don't know though. It looks like it. And then, of course, the Laughing Palace amusements theming at the pool is so fantastic. I feel like the clown pool scares a lot of people away because there's a lot of people that are afraid of clowns, but you can't deny that it's themed very well. Like Leaping Horse Libations, this is a bar lounge area that's decorated as a carousel. I just really like it here. You can see the sign over there, it says Family Amusements. It's a very beautiful resort. Another really awesome thing is you don't share a balcony with anybody else. Like this is a wall here, and then this is actually to that lobby area when we first got off the elevator. That's only this room. The other rooms kind of have uh, where you have to share a view, but wow, I, I really lucked out here. I didn't ask for all this. I just asked for the highest level and to be possibly facing the sunrise. But they really hooked me up. I, I'm really appreciative of that. That's what I mean. Like when you have a request, Disney tries to make every single guest as happy as possible. So you can never be upset. Like I'm not one to get upset about anything because I just enjoy everything. The patio furniture is actually really nice. It's a mixture between just all metal and a little soft for the tookish but the balcony itself is a little bit small compared to the other ones they had a longer balcony i probably should have done this before but look how bright the room is with the curtains for the balcony open now you can like really get a good look at it it is really bright and it still smells clean <laughs> It's like Disney scents just constantly wafting in your face. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I mean, I'll take all of them. I, I love the smell of the water. Like, that's how much I love Florida and Disney. I think I'm gonna head on down to the Leaping Horse Libations only because I really wanna hang out by a pool bar. It's something I haven't done so far. Uh, most of the pools have been closed because of rain and uh, today seems like a good day. It's so beautiful out and sunny. Yeah, I like that idea. Before we actually head on down to the pool area, I want to show you guys some stuff at the resort that you technically wouldn't actually notice unless you were staying here. A lot of people come here and they go immediately to the boardwalk, all the fancy bars and restaurants, but the resort itself has a very beautiful scenery that's actually within the resort. It's hard to explain because it's like, you know, the boardwalk is so nice. I mean, what else could be nice? I mean, they come here because they want to be on the boardwalk, but there are other things here. A part of the theming is all these really cool knickknacks. And I like the old timey phones that they have. This one is actually out. That's really nifty. That cake does not look delicious though. If you do come here to visit, don't just go straight to the boardwalk and if you want to explore a little bit, go a little bit past the Bellevue Lounge and there's an exit that'll take you out to a beautiful garden setting. And I'm going to show you where it's at this way. Right here is the Bellevue Lounge. I've talked about that before in videos. It's a really cool lounge. Kind of reminds you of an old living room with old news radio broadcast always playing. And this is the way I was talking about that normally people don't go explore. This music though, it's so nice. I don't even want to walk hard because it makes a noise and it distracts from the music. Right out these doors. Look at that. Isn't it pretty out here? I have to be honest, I visited the boardwalk probably, I'd say a hundred times before I actually discovered this little gem over here. These are all resort rooms. So unless you're really exploring a resort or staying here, you really wouldn't know it's here. And some of the rooms over here actually have 
amazing gated balconies with little gardens in front of them. Isn't that so cute? It's like you're walking up to a home. It's got a little number with a birdhouse and just a beautiful like entranceway. I absolutely love this. These rooms are so spectacular, aren't they? This really is such a beautiful resort to just stroll around. Like I feel like I'm walking through an old town right now. Look at this one right here. What a little pretty garden. That's a resort room right there. Mind boggling, isn't it? They even have their own little pool over here and some special fountains. Honestly though, I mean, I know staying on the boardwalk and having a boardwalk view is great, but these rooms are just as great. I would love to have one of these rooms. I actually might say they might be a little bit better. Let's move along back on over to the other side of the resort where I said I wanted to go down to the pool area and I can show you a little bit more. To get over to the clown pool area, I think that's just what we're going to call it, you have to come through the lobby and then right down through this passageway. But take a look at that room. That's a nifty room to have right there. It's really nice and you get to see all of the festivities that are happening in the courtyard of the boardwalk. And there it is, the clown pool area. And right outside the pool, that's our room all the way up there. Pretty fancy that you get to have a drink at a carousel bar, isn't it? Since we're drinking at a carousel bar, might as well get the drink that's named Carousel. Absolute Mandarin vodka and coconut, pineapple, and orange. Fancy. I had no idea it was going to be a frozen drink, but look at that. Very fancy looking. It's actually very delicious, like an orange pina colada. Definitely refreshing on a hot day. This one was a good one. This one had microphone since we couldn't show you before the backside of the actual carousel lounge wanted to show you what it looks like from this angle because there's nobody over in this area by the pool isn't it so pretty definitely a drink you have to drink pretty quick or it just melts away it's good though the only odd thing i think about this drink though if it's a drink named the carousel, I would expect it to probably have a lot more colors. I don't know why it was just orange based with a little coconut and pineapple. I was expecting like red, white, and blue, and green, and just a, a flavor of rainbow. So for now, I'm gonna head back up to the room, cool off a little bit, and find something to do until sunset time. I don't know, there's a lot to do here. Maybe I'll take a stroll over to Epcot. I did make an Epcot Park reservation since it's so close and we can just walk there. And it closes at nine. The latest park open is Epcot. Now that I'm a little bit more cooled off, I think I'm gonna take a little walk over to Epcot because if you're staying at the boardwalk, you gotta take advantage of the luxuries of going and just walking to a theme park because it's that close. And plus I'm a little hungry, so I'll probably get something to eat while I'm there. Just take a look at that view. You either go left, more boardwalk. You go right, more boardwalk. And actually, normally I can't even hear the music out here, but I can hear it just fine and it's a delight. On our way over to Epcot, sad to see my favorite ice cream in Disney is no more. Ample Hills is closed down, bankrupt. And actually they even stopped the Disney Springs expansion. Really sad, that place has amazing ice cream. I can pretty much guarantee if it was open, We'd be having some ice cream tonight. I love this overlook that they have here. Sometimes they have weddings and certain little parties happening over here, but it's a great spot to actually get a full view of all of the boardwalk. I would say total walk time is about six, maybe seven minutes from the boardwalk over to Epcot, which is actually really, really good. The only other resort that would actually have a faster way to get to a theme park probably would be the beach club right here. Cause that's like a four minute walk. You know, one thing I have not done yet, I have not rode the Skyliner since we opened back up. 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that today because I won't have enough time, but I gotta get back on those babies. And just like that, here we are, Epcot. And I think I'm gonna indulge in a little of a taste of Epcot's Food and Wine Festival and get one of my favorite dishes and also see if they have my favorite dessert available. Luckily, both of those items are right here in the France Pavilion. I definitely want to get myself the amazing duck that I had here from Food and Wine, but I also want to see if the bakery is open to get my Napoleon that I absolutely love. Sad news, folks. The bakery is closed, so there's going to be no Napoleon for me, but I'm still getting my duck. There it is right there. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh, man. Canad. I don't know how to say it. I was trying and I was even having the cast member try to teach me. I just uh, couldn't say it the proper way. This was definitely by far my favorite thing so far. I just love the mixture between the, the sweet potatoes and the duck. Oh, unbelievable. Another thing is it's actually one of the bigger portioned items for food and wine. It's only six dollars. You go to uh, Canada and you get this steak and it's like nine dollars and it's a very very tiny piece so I, that's why I like this the duck was fantastic but I went to go get a crepe and then the next thing you know I looked at the sky and I was like holy moly I'm gonna miss the sunset and I was really looking forward to that sunset so now I'm gonna try to rush back to the boardwalk room maybe I'll catch it I am totally racing the Sun right now oh and I'm pretty sure a raindrop just hit me Oh, we're going to make it, and I'm going to start the B-roll, like, now. Well, I hope that came out pretty good. I made it back to the room and I was up there and realized that I've already missed the sun setting actually. It was already past the actual resort. So I decided to hop back down to the boardwalk so I can get more footage. And it did come out good. It looked really good down here. And now, since I'm down here, might as well go to Abracadabra. I wouldn't mind to get myself a curious concoction and enjoy the beautiful lounge. While I was hanging out in here, I ran into my friends Susan and Matthew, but I'm sorry, Hannah, I didn't get to meet you. Maybe next time. It's a little sad because most of the things at the resorts are closing super early because of the situation. And uh, I, I mean, I'm not sad. I did get to enjoy myself. The sunset was beautiful and hanging out at the Abracadabra bar was nice. I got myself a Bud Light and it's good to be able to just walk back to your room afterwards. And now I am back in my room. I had a great time just hanging out tonight at the boardwalk. I ran into so many friends. It was unbelievable. I'm so happy that there are people out there that watch these videos and when I run into people in the parks it's just so great because I just start talking so if I've ever seen you and you've watched the videos and you said hi to me I'm sorry if I talk a lot I just get really excited to see you and I feel like we're just gonna compensate for hours anywho's I think it's time to probably go to bed if we're gonna catch a sunrise but before that I just want to take one more look out on the balcony. It is so beautiful. 
look at this resort. I love it here. And honestly, the pool view is amazing. I like all the bright colors and I like hearing the music because it's like a faint music right now and I can still hear the water slide running. Actually, you can see it coming out of the clown's mouth. It's just really relaxing to look and see the swan and dolphin, the boardwalk, the Tower of Terror. And then also, I'm pretty sure I've established this before that I think that's Guardians of the Galaxy. No, it can't be. Because Epcot is like this way. So I wonder what that building is actually. Huh, I'm a little mind blown right now. If you guys have a guess, let me know in the comments. But like I said, definitely time for bed. Oh, I love these Disney beds. Oh, and I sleep with my hat on. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Good night. I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning. <laughs> it is 5 a.m. Time to get some coffee and uh, see if we can do this sunrise. I know I can't do it from my balcony, so I'm gonna have to go down on the boardwalk itself. It rises over ESPN. So hopefully we can see something beautiful. I don't know how well it's gonna go, but I'm gonna make the best of it. I mean, regardless, I'm waking up at the boardwalk. I mean, so that's awesome. Super excited. I should have put the coffee on, but I'm glad I got my French vanilla creamer. One thing I did notice though, is if I didn't bring my French vanilla creamer, I would have had nothing because literally all they have is coffee here. They don't even have the regular creamer or sugar packets. It's literally just a bag of coffee. Unless they're hiding somewhere. Maybe they're open here. Ah, I'm a fool. They got the whole works right here in this little tray. Can opener, spoon, sugars, forks, sporks, and coffee mate. Well, I got my fridge on the mouth. I'll tell you what guys, I slept like a little baby last night. I was so busy yesterday. I actually did a, another vlog off site. So I woke up at 4 a.m., watched the sunrise at the Wilderness Lodge, explored a little bit, checked out and then drove to another location which i don't want to tell you because it'll spoil another vlog but then did the video there came all the way back checked into the boardwalk and i was just a beat but it was like one of those good beats because for some reason when you're in like vacation mode like your feet hurt but it's all worth it because you're excited to do something i wish i had this much energy in like everyday life that would be amazing, wouldn't it? But as tired as I am, I am so excited to experience the boardwalk early in the morning. I told you, I'm just in, I love early mornings at resorts and I've never actually explored the boardwalk early in the morning. I've stayed late many and many of times, but never this early. I'm pretty positive the sunrise is gonna happen behind me and it's gonna actually come up over ESPN. So we're gonna try to get some nifty shots and angle this right so we can get a beautiful boardwalk sunrise. Tomorrow offers new frontiers in science, adventure, and ideals. The atomic age, the challenge of outer space, and the hope for a peaceful and unified world. sit there while they uh, they rode the merry ground did all these things sit on a bench you know eating peanuts i felt that 
There should be something built, some kind of a, an amusement enterprise built where that the parents and the children could uh, have fun together. it to do over again would you do any part of it differently well if I had it to do over again uh, I think uh, no I don't think it would <laughs> well there you have it the sunrise on the boardwalk I hope you guys enjoyed all of them let me know where your favorite resort was and what your favorite sunrise was if you want to go back and look through you can see we had the poly the Grand Floridian, the Wilderness Lodge, and the Boardwalk. Thank you so much, everyone that helped and made this possible. Today I stayed at the Boardwalk because of Sandy and Jerry. You guys were all fantastic, every single one of you. See you later. Bye.